things I've been trying. Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Forotech. So finally developers got their own OnePlus Nord 2 device and after that we got the first new update for the Pixel S Friends ROM. If you didn't watch that first release video of Pixel S Friends ROM for Nord 2 please check the right side card video. So I was using the Lineage OS 19 ROM on my OnePlus Nord 2. I created the video for this ROM also you can check that in the video description. So it's time to test the new build of Pixel S Friends. Download the Pixel S Friends ROM from the link given under the video description. Developer also given the new Pixel S Friends recovery, but I didn't recommend you to use that. If you are on the Lineage OS 19 Android ROM, you can't able to access the internal storage, so you need the OTG and the pen drive connected to the phone and copy paste the full ROM zip file inside the pen drive. Now go to the security and remove all the pin and the password locks. Now connect phone to the PC by using the ADB commands on the PC like adb reboot recovery boot your device into the twrp so we are booted to the twrp so without further ado we will start the flashing process of the rom On the new adventure. so once we booted to the twrp connect otg pen drive to the phone go to the mount and check mark the usb storage again tap select storage and check mark the internal storage now tap install and flash the Pixel S Friends ROM zip file. Once the flashing gets completed, now tap the wipe and select the format data and type yes. If you are already on the Pixel S Friends ROM, then no need to wipe the data, skip this step. While wiping, if you can't able to wipe the data, boot phone to the bootloader and open the CMD window in the PC and type fastboot W. This will erase and wipe all the data. Finally type the fastboot reboot phone will boot into the Google boot animation. So here I done the clean flash so I need to complete the setup. So let's check what's new thing we get in this update. In the about phone we are obviously on the android 12 not upgraded to android 13. Security patch is updated to the 5th Feb 2022. Kernel version is 4.14.186. Developer also merge all the latest lineage OS sources till the date in the ROM. This is the latest build of 2nd March 2022. So in the ROM they fixed the alert slider bug, now the alert slider is working but still it's in an inverted position as compared to Oxygen OS ROM. Means at the top position alert slider is at the default mode, at the middle position it is at the DND mode and at the bottom it is at the vibration mode. It is exactly opposite in the Oxygen OS ROMs. In this build developer has improved the vibration bugs and added the vibration strength profiles like the low, medium and the high. You can find this setting under the OnePlus setting. Under the same setting, now the performance profile tab has been removed. Previously, we get the balance, performance and the battery profiles in this tab. Adaptive brightness seems somewhat fixed as compared to the previous builds. In the previous build, when we enable this tab, immediately brightness goes to the high and down without any reasons. But now it seems working good. Finally, ROM is updated with the face unlock in the security setting. This is the big add-on of this update. It's super easy to add the face unlock along with the fingerprint lock. Face unlock is working very fast, it's detecting the face and immediately unlocking the phone. ROM has updated with the new Google Translate. Translate will work flawlessly inside the camera and the messaging app now. So there are lots of sources has been updated as per the latest lineage OS, so the ROM will perform very good. So I took the Geekbench test, these results are higher till the date as compared to any custom ROM. I got the single core 817 and 2766 for the multi core. If we check the touch sampling rate, ROM gets the maximum 250Hz and the minimum 8Hz as per the touch input. So this is all about this new update. I will regularly give you all the videos for the new upcoming updates of all the custom ROMs for the OnePlus Nord 2 onwards. So if you like my work, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.